Hey everyone, Edgy Berserker back with Darkstalkers the Night Warriors. Um, man, I uh, just did my numbers like I was meaning to. <laughs> and we left off with uh, John Talbain. Now we're on to Victor. I don't want to know what he's doing underneath that icon. It looks, uh, it looks a little hee <laughs> hee. Okay, he's jerking off. He looks like he's jerking off, okay? <laughs> Fine. I'm a mature adult. I can handle this game. <laughs> I'll to turn it down a bit so it doesn't echo on you guys. <laughs> Y'all. Okay, I don't know how to play this guy. He's like, oh my god, he seems like big grapple boy. Um, oh boy. Just try to figure shit out, I guess. That alone looks like a very strong punch. Wow. Like, that's just a normal hard punch. God damn, Victor. You're swole. See? Holy shit, that's OP. <laughs> he is the Frankenstein's monster. But this one, he seems like a good boy. He's making do with the new body parts he got. <laughs> He's basically undead John Cena. Huh. <laughs> you are no match again, my great strengths. Against my great snakes, I can read. <laughs> All right. Well, it looks like Dimitri was also jerking off in his icon there. There you go. Fair is fair. <laughs> I am recording this a uh, day after I recorded a whole bunch of Tekken episodes. And in Tekken, I was worried that I would not, you know. <laughs> this is a bitch slap. Anyways, in Tekken, I was legit worried that. Ooh, he's a charge boy. Okay, cool. Okay, anyways, in uh, Tekken, I was worried about not being able to get Moku Jin and Jin and Devil Jin uh, in time for when I get to them. Well, great news! Great news. I actually decided to just sit down, play it. I finally got the epitomous uh, Alexa gets a fucking uh, um, health. Item, and I got them. I fi I earned them. I finally got them. So now I don't have to worry about earning them. Um, I'm gonna do the finale with Lars and Alessa because I realized how underwhelming the Tekken Six finale would be if Wang was the finale. <laughs> so Lars and Alessa will be the last two for. Tekken 6. I'll mention that after the panda episode because I recorded a whole bunch in a row. <laughs> but man, I still got like, for recording wise, I have like uh, 20 more characters to go still, so Tekken 6 is gonna be a while anyways. <laughs> it's the one thing about big rosters, right? Eventually it's like, wow, I'm gonna be at this forever. <laughs> Or it feels like forever. <laughs> That's okay though. It's always nice to get to games like, uh, say, this one, even Alpha One, heck, even Sengoku Basara X, where there, you know, like 12 in the cast at most. Like, uh, what is it, Alpha, including the secret characters you could play, they, it's, 50, it's 13 characters total. So, yeah, this one's 12, so, like, legit, I could get this done in, like, four months. Because, <laughs> of course, I do an episode on their designated day, so, yeah, what can you do? Unless, of course, my Patreon hits over 150, then, guess what? Freaking, uh, I could just, uh, add tech in an extra day, and then it could get, like, through quicker sort of thing. No, I'm still trying to figure out how to go through seven, but I still have Tekken Tag Tournament 2 as a hurdle, so and that one has a huge ass cast. So 
so you know. Not much I could do about that. <laughs> I did uh, notice in the comments people were asking about why I don't use an arcade stick. Well, there's a few th reasons. I want to get one, but I don't want to just order one online because I want to actually feel how it looks and like feels in my hands because uh, sometimes I find uh, arcade things to be uh, too big, which is no fun for me. And then uh, other reason is I'm actually not used to a stick, so... Again, during the arcade times when they were around in the 90s. I didn't live near an arcade to uh, be able to play one uh, constantly, so... Consoles was where the way I go, so I'm used to like the control pads quite a bit, actually. However, like I said though, the one arcade stick I do own is a uh, Neo the Neo Geo CD controller, because I have a Neo Geo CD. <laughs> I want to get more games for that because I feel like that amazing, beautiful controller deserves to get some loving. I'm probably gonna like pop it in and just play some Gal Kaiser <laughs> just because I really like that game. <laughs> I'm sure there's a way to burn games, but you know, Neo Geo is one of those things where it's like I gotta play it legit, man. It just looks so nice. <laughs> of course, what I would like to see is a uh, Samurai Showdown RPG get an English translation. God, that'd be so rad. I would totally play that for my RPGs if there was like a fully translated version. That's the thing, I have to specify fully translated because I know there's a translation out there, but it's not completed. <laughs> I'd also like to do the Athena one game. Uh, that one I would actually attempt to do without uh, English. Because I have the Athena game. I do. I actually downloaded it. I also have King of Fighters Kyo, but of course I can't really read it. However, there is like translations in Spanish. And I mean, if I trans... Uh, it's a mess. <laughs> be something I could do a let's play of, that's for sure. I mean, if there's a French version, I can at least read it and sort of get the gist of what I'm doing. Just giving this guy hug times, holy shit. Oh, there's just a lot of games I want to cover. <laughs> Real talk, there's just so many I want to cover. So little time. <laughs> Again, with the way I cover games, it does take a while to get them done, but eh. What can you do? <laughs> oh my god! I'm so tiny! There we go. Oh, come on! Eh. Wish I learned how to do that when I was playing this guy. An Arcasus. Oh. Why else you mummify me, sir? I feel like I'm getting nowhere with this guy. Ah! It's all good. So got another round. What a lively game, though. <laughs> Again, yeah, this is like just straight in my real house. I love the character designs of that. Just never played it back in the day. And you know what? Yeah, when uh, someone asked me how I missed this one, like, legit, I got to think about it and I missed this one because it was that awkward time between uh, where the SNES couldn't handle a lot of the newer fighting games for Capcom. So they were starting to like slowly move over towards like uh say like the Saturn and uh and I think PlayStation came out as well. Like, I don't remember the release orders of these things though. But I know Saturn came out first and I know they were like, Well, Saturn can handle our games, so let's just release it for that. 
And uh, then N64 was on the horizon and that. So I never... This was one of those ones that I just missed. And again, I like this uh, CD I have. I got it like a long time ago. Uh, no instruction booklet, no case, nothing. I never really played it. Like, as it never really, as it, I just didn't play it. <laughs> I had the disc, I just didn't do anything with it. It's kind of depressing when you think about it, because I probably would have dug this, but I think I was playing a lot of Toshin Den. <laughs> that at that point, it's just like, I have this, so eventually when I get to it, I'll play it, and I just forgot about it. There you have it. <laughs> Uh, it's all fist. <laughs> and like I said, my most exposure to these characters were actually the uh, versus games that they made like cameos in or appearances in. The anime, because I watched the an like I own the VHS of the anime, so I did actually watch the anime. I did all see an episode of the shitty American version, and I did not like that. Ah, shit damn. <laughs> that was terrible. God, the character designs in it were so bad. Just everything about it were bad. I even watched that Street Fighter cartoon. <laughs> oh... The Street Fighter cartoon was not good, especially after you saw the Street Fighter animated movie. Whew! My brother saw it into anime and he really, really liked that movie. <laughs> oh, barely. Whew! Good job. Give him the old razzle dazzle. Whew. You're no match against my great strength. <laughs> Who next? Okay, I have a Yeti, a zombie, and a fish man. I'm sure, that's someone's fetish. <laughs> a Yeti, zombie, fish man. <laughs> I just realized he may have a butt thing. You just have a butt thing, Victor. If so, I'm very happy if you did, sir. You know, you have very nice butt. I will admit, for an undead, uh, many parts man, uh, the doc definitely chose a good ass for you. We'll say that. God, his thighs are twitching. <laughs> God, like, just these animations have so much freaking character. Oh my god. I love it. Oh my god, I love this shit. <laughs> it's funny, because a lot of my exposure to Darkstalkers characters were Legion. <laughs> Downloaded a whole bunch. That punch OP. That punch super OP. Edgy like. <laughs> it's Popeye face. I love it. Wait, what if this is Charlie? Anyone who's played Street Fighter V knows what I mean. <gasps> Makes sense. Figured out the Street Fighter canon, y'all. You just back up there, you bully. I don't know any other news, guys. Sorry. <laughs> Jesus. Why must you be a tricky boy? I barely won that. <laughs> wow, I barely freaking won that. Thumbs up me. <laughs> oh, shit.
fish man time. He's the fishiest of them all. He has nipples that move even those other skills, but my god, they came out of his nipples. Come on, fish man. Don't you sass me, sir. Sir! Oh god, I hate fighting him. It's fine. I could try, right? Let's bitch slap him. You know what? Bitch slap him. Oh. Gotta make shrimp burgers. Damn it. Quiet. Concentrating on defeating this fish man. <laughs> ah, that was so close. Okay, I'll be back. Ah, the nipples. Got him. That was a lot easier. <laughs> Eat shit, edgy wins. Uh, time to beat up a yeti next. I didn't fight the samurai guy, did I? I don't think I did. No, I did, I did near the beginning, near the beginning. Cause I remember, I just remember the doggo doing his bark, 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 bark thing. Yeah, 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 okay. <laughs> All right, we're ready. For some victor time. Mm -hmm. Come on. Come on. All right. Okay, that worked out rather well. I think I could, yeah, okay. I'm sorry if I go quiet, guys. I know I keep apologizing for that. But like, you know. <laughs> it's funny, uh, on my like adventures of discovering different games, um, I learned of some uh, PSP games I would not mind trying to cover at some point in this, because there's some weird ones that I discovered. I'm just like, hmm. Yes, good. Eventually, I wouldn't mind playing some of the older Onechen Barre games, too. I mean, I ha there's English translated versions from the Simple series, thanks to Europe getting those for some reason. <laughs> and yeah, like, man, I got so much I want to cover. <laughs> so much. And not just fighting games, but long plays, too. Though I like the setup of like one RPG and then like one some other game. I actually like that and then the rest being fighters. I remember for a while I was just doing just fighters and then the RPG, but then it's like, I need another game in here. <laughs> I mean, otherwise, when seeing gems like El Shaddai. Which, I ended up really loving that game. Like, a lot. So I'm glad I played that one. And then, like, of course, uh, my full playthrough of Dirge's Cerberus. Though I didn't get the secret ending, but that's okay. <laughs> that's okay. Eh! That's ill. Why you gotta be like that? Chris, this is just one thing that I just can't stay away from, and it's PS1 fighting games. Oh, it does have a butt hit. That was a good butt hit, because it expanded and made his cheeks go, ugh. Like, this guy could win a twerk competition for sure. Yeah, Victor. Actually, you know what? No, he wouldn't, because he would be cheating, because he's using someone else's ass cheeks. 
probably like each cheek was from a different person too. Think about that. Hmm. <laughs> I know I'm just getting y'all thinking about uh Victor's butt cheeks here. <laughs> God, Pyron, why? <laughs> it looks like he's stored acorns in his cheeks. <laughs> Oh my god, I just noticed that. <laughs> Brock Lesnar got re reanimated. <laughs> oh well, at least this guy has more personality. What? <laughs> I say that out loud. It's funny though, because there are a few games I would not mind, uh revisiting and I mean like in the sense of like uh, I did one-offs of them but I didn't do like anything else there's a few that I'd like to actually just clear clear um, so I realized that and I live streamed uh, Daroku Tenshi that game's almost impossible to do <laughs> unless you're skilled or you have the one character where you just win. So let's face it, super one punch, like fucking that wins the game. You defeat the final boss, no problem with that one punch. And I won, wow, I only had continued on Riku. Not bad, Edgy. Not bad at all. So I was only using one punch. <laughs> Doctor, wake up, wake up. You made me strongest now or something. Please wake up, celebrate with me. Why are you so quiet? Oh. Victor. Victor, father cannot share your joy. The villagers are not kind, but together we must go on. We must try to carry father's dream. Here, come, here's much to do. Shit, sure, we're getting Lady Frankenstein. However, for now, let's enjoy our victory. Tomorrow we plan, but today we celebrate. Okay, so this one gets Lady Frankenstein. <laughs> That's so messed up. <laughs> well, not really messed up. At least, like, you know, it's a happy ending. That was very colorful, too. Aww. <laughs> Have you guys ever seen Lady Frankenstein? You understand why I'm like, yeah. <laughs> Anyways, this is Edgy Berserker signing off. In this edition of Doc Stalkers, next episode, I will see y'all later. Bye now.